Yeah. If y'all will come, there's plenty of chairs. If y'all will come have a seat and get out of the heat. If you want to. I'm not going to. Yeah. I'm not going to force you, but we're going to get started here in just a few seconds. I want to welcome everyone. If I could welcome everyone, thank you for being here this this morning. Um, I'm glad we're doing this at nine o'clock and not noon because uh, it's going to get warm today. But we're very thankful that you're here this morning. My name, if I haven't met you, my name's Tom Sellers. I'm the president of the EDC. And we're just uh, pleased to be here this morning. It's always a great morning to welcome a new company to town. And, and uh, it's another uh, opportunity to grow and continue our growth here in Sulphur Springs and Hopkins County. And we're uh, excited about a, another uh, quality company that's coming to our town. My, uh, my perfect pet company is uh, an exciting uh, venture. And uh, we couldn't be more happy to, to be here this morning. We have several people that I'm going to recognize uh, uh, quickly, and uh, if I overlook you, I apologize, uh, and if you wave your hand, I'll let you give yourself an introduction. Uh, first, I, of course, want to recognize Karen Neoli, that's the owner of My Perfect Pet. We're glad to have her here, of course, this morning. If anybody wants to sit here, I don't bite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to take you <laughs> Good. And it's in the shade. Yes. There you go. <laughs> From uh, the governor's office, Governor Abbott's office, Janie Havel is here. Janie's right there. From Representative Dan Flynn's office, uh, Janice Melton is also here. From uh, Senator Bob Hall's office, John Vick. Is John here this morning? Uh, our county judge, Robert Newsom, over there. Our mayor, Norman Sanders. Uh, city manager, Mark. I don't see Mark, uh, but our city manager is Mark Maxwell. City council members that are here, uh, Jeff uh, Sanderson. I saw Jeff. Who else is here? Anyone else from the city council that I've overlooked? Other members are Erica Armstrong, Doug Moore, John Sellers, Jimmy Lucas, and Freddie Taylor. Uh, county commissioners, I saw Mickey Barker uh, here, uh, Joe Price, Greg Anglin, there's Mickey back there. Uh, Wade Bartley, where, where's with Mickey? I was, he's, he's on the phone. He's, Mickey's on the phone. He's, doing, he's doing business back there. He's got road problems. <laughs> Mickey, I know you're fixing a road back there. Uh, my fellow colleagues that are on the EDC, uh, Clay Walker's here, Buck Booker. Uh, also members of the EDC are Craig Roberts and Doug Moore. Uh, from the planning and zoning, I don't think we had anybody from planning and zoning here today. Uh, the chamber, Leslie Brown is here. Williams is here, and we have numerous directors and ambassadors from the from the chamber that he, that are here today, and we appreciate you being here today. From our school, Mike Lamb's not here, but our school superintendent is Mike Lamb. Uh, Tommy Allison is here, at legal counsel. We're glad to have Tommy. From Tandem Consulting, Don Roundtree is here. From SNS Cleveland Seals, and from the Small Business Administration, Mike Minton. Mike's right back there. Thanks. Uh, I hope I didn't overlook anybody. Uh, we appreciate everyone that is here today uh, as a part of this celebration. We appreciate you taking time to be out here today. Uh, again, we welcome you, each one of you, and thank you. Uh, I'm now going to introduce uh, our mayor, who I introduced earlier. Norman Sanders is going to say a few words. Uh, 
I'm uh, not a public speaker. I'm a police officer. I've been a cop for 27 years, so most of my public speaking is turn around, put your hands behind your back. <laughs> so don't expect too much out of me. Uh, we've got a great town here. We've got a beautiful little town. We've got great schools, and we've got great people. And I want to welcome you and your company to Sulphur Springs. You'll really love us. Once you get to really know us, you'll really love us. Likewise. Uh, <laughs> I have uh, something here from the EDC to present to you. Oh. Now, I'm told this is a paperweight, and he has an exact duplicate in his office. All right. <laughs> okay. Nice. Thank you. Thanks, Norman. I appreciate it. I really appreciate that you didn't ask all of us to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Overlook. Maybe next time. Yeah, maybe next time. <laughs> now I'd like to introduce uh, our county judge, Robert Newsom. Thank you, Tom. And most of all, thank you, Karen, for being here today. This is a really big event in the life of Sulphur Springs. And one of the things that we're so thrilled about is small business. And so 15 employees, is that what we talked about a while ago? Right. And that's and that's that's what we're, we're we're excited for you to come here, for you to grow, for you to make yourself at home. And uh, my wife, uh, we have pets, many pets, and she loves the idea that you have that's really unique. And I think uh, we'll see this uh, spread uh, more and more as you're successful. We'll see other people be successful. So thank you for coming to Sulphur Springs. We, anything you need, just call on uh, the courthouse. We'll, we'll try to help you, okay? All right, thank, All right. You. thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Judge. And now uh, we're going to ask Karen to come forward. I think Karen would like to say something. Karen Neoli. Well, thank you all, everyone. Um, this is certainly the warmest welcome I've ever had. <laughs> but, uh, Just for you. I'm told the first summer is brutal, and then from then on, I kind of get used to it, so I'm counting on that. Um, so Roger said I only have 30 minutes to talk, so I'll take this break. Just kidding. Um, I would like to just give a really quick summary of how I ended up here in Sulphur Springs. Twelve and a half years ago, I was vacationing in Mexico with my dogs, and they both suddenly became very ill. And I raced them back to San Diego, where I learned that they were both in organ failure. The next day, I said goodbye to my hunter, and they told me my other one would probably not make it through the night. I was devastated. Two months later, headlines started hitting about what turned out to be the largest pet food recall in history. Over 80,000 pets were either sickened or killed by contaminated pet food. But there are no words to describe how angry I was. Um, you know, these, these were my babies, um, and you don't mess with the mommy. <laughs> so I, I swore I would never buy commercial pet food again. I said, I am never trusting anybody in the pet food industry again. I'm going to start making my own. And if I'm going to make my own, it's going to have to be perfect. So now you know how I got the name. Uh. <laughs> um, but I, I, I was vegetarian at the time. I didn't really want to have raw meat in my refrigerator. But I said, well, at the time, the choices were raw or highly processed. Cooked frozen did not exist as a pet food category then. But I said, I'm going to set the bar at the same standard that my food is. If it's safe enough for me, I'm going to call it safe enough for them. So I decided to cook the meats to the minimum temperature that the FDA recommended for food safety. But the vegetables, I could keep raw. You know, the best of both worlds. Safety of the cooked meats, all the benefits of <coughs> raw and raw vegetables. And I said, I'm going to use only whole food, natural, real foods, no preservatives. It's going to be the healthiest food that I possibly know how to make. Safe enough for me, nutritionally formulated for them. Today, cooked frozen is considered the fastest growing category in pet food. So it's, it's, been, a, it's been a long road for 12 and a half years, but a great one. So that's the good news. The bad news is I was trying to grow a business in California. And there are only one or two states that are lower on the list for being business friendly depending on whose survey you're looking at. So I said, well, maybe I should look around and see if there are other options for, you know, growing the business. And obviously, Northeast Texas was one of those areas. And I have to say, initially, I thought there were a couple of other areas that 
maybe had a little more appeal than Sulphur Springs, you know, and at a, an A&M University right there. That's pretty sweet. Uh, you know, the big trees and the beautiful lakes. I'm like, oh, that's kind of pretty. But there are really four, four things, four main things that brought me to be standing here today in Sulphur Springs. One is Roger and Glenda. I will say without those two continuing to ping me and be in touch with me, I don't know that I'd be standing here today. Roger just regularly reached out, or Glenda, hey, how are things going? How's the business going? How are you doing? And it seemed like every time I had a question about something, boop, there would come a message from Roger. So I'd write back and I'm still asking him a bazillion questions, but he said there's no short, he'd answer anything, so I'm taking him up on that. <laughs> but um, the constant interaction, the communication answered all my questions. So thank you, Roger and Glenda, for putting up with all my questions and guiding me through this process over the last two years. Um, and I'd also like to thank the entire board because I know that they didn't do it in a vacuum. So everybody at the EDC has just been phenomenal to work with. I'm a little bit of an anomaly because feed standards are down here for pet food. Human food standards are up here. Huge disparity in those two standards. So I am operating at the human food level, still fighting the licensing battle here because I still want to license me here. And I'm saying, hey, if I'm doing everything here, you know, putting in this facility that's going to be USDA compliant for human food, I want to be licensed at that level. So still fighting that battle, but thank you the entire board for continuing to help me through all of the battles and all the challenges that we have with trying to do something that is a little bit different from the norm. Um, and I'd also, of course, like to thank Mike Newton and Midwest Bank because they are helping to come up with the dollars to do this. The Bank of Karen doesn't have a lot of zeros in it, so without some infusion of other dollars, there was really not a way that I could make this happen, so thank you for making that possible. And finally, I'd just like to thank the entire community. I honestly have never been to any community where I felt more welcome, more friendly. I mean, and I came back several times unbeknownst to Roger and Glenda because it's like, okay, I'm sure they're setting up everybody be really nice, you know, when she walks around and say all the right things. Um, but I met a couple me. <laughs> Seriously, I told Glenda, I said, I want to meet somebody preferably from Southern California who's going to tell me like it is. I said, okay, I've heard the great, now I want to hear the bad and the ugly because I know there is some. And so I have to hand it to Michelle. She sat down and said, okay, I'm from Southern California on the beach. This is what you're going to hate, this is what you're going to be afraid of, and this is what you're going to deal. So I needed to hear that. But just walking around the whole community, people I didn't even know, walking around the town square, talking to people, introducing myself, genuine warmth, um, whether it was locals or whether it was fellow Californians. So I just want to say, oh my gosh, I just want to say, welcome. I've heard everything that we've that's the wild one. You know, that was a photo op if there ever was one, but I was not going to let it go into my nose. Like I told Glenda, the worst thing that can happen, it just makes it funnier later, but I'm glad that grass hopper didn't come into my nose. Um, so let's see. Anyway, the, uh, the people were just so warm and friendly because the company can go anywhere, but I needed to move to a place that I could feel like it was home. So thank you everyone for making me feel like Sulphur Springs really, truly will be home, and I will get used to the warmth. Year two. <laughs> All right, so thank you, everybody. Okay, thanks, Karen, very much. We appreciate your remarks. We're glad you're here. Uh, we're glad to have anyone move from California here. And, and we appreciate it very much. We, Tim and Michelle are part of our community, and we're glad they're here and all that they've become involved. And, uh, we're just uh, very welcoming and excited that you're here and bringing your company to us. There's a couple more presentations. Uh, we, want, that, we also want to in, uh, say something about Tony and Sarah. Yeah. They're our newest company California. from California. Okay, Tony and Sarah. Thank you. Welcome. It's a magnet. See, you shouldn't have brought me here. <laughs> I think there's a position on the tourism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she on your payroll? Yeah, I know. I'm still waiting for my Trader Joe's. Yes. <laughs> yes, welcome. We, we appreciate well, you. have you. my perfect pet now. Yeah, so. yeah exactly. <laughs> so I'd like for uh, Janice Melton to come up with Dan Flynn's office. I think she has a presentation to make. So Karen, you get to come up. Karen, you get to come up. Oh. <laughs> 
good, but I had plenty of them out where I live. <laughs> okay. uh, Representative Flynn would like to present you with this certificate on the groundbreaking of your new facility, and he's so glad to have you, and if there's anything we can do, All right. just let our office know. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. One more presentation, you get your own personal shovel. Yeah. I have never been so excited to get a shovel. <laughs> there you go. Okay, right, thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Ready to <laughs> mm. Again, we're gonna have, we'll have our. Uh, Groundbreaking here just in a moment, but I want to take just a second uh, before we dismiss to thank Roger, Glenda, Mitzi that are part of our EDC staff. Uh, I've been on the EDC board. I don't know. I've lost track now how long I've been on the EDC board, which probably is uh, too long, maybe. But uh, uh, I've never seen a staff that works hmm. harder uh, than these three people. It takes a whole community to come together to have these kind of successes. It takes the county government, the judge and his folks. It takes the city government, the mark and his folks. It takes the schools, the hospitals, uh, the members of the community. Uh, it takes all of us uh, to continue to grow and be successful. And we're excited that we have people that want to come to our area and continue to prosper and grow. And um, Roger and Glenda and Mitzi work every day uh, trying to accomplish that. And you really don't know. It's hard to know because a lot of our work is confidential. Uh, and a lot of it that you don't know about until we get to this point and we're able to, an to announce it. But you would, you really don't have any idea of how many companies they reach out to each day, how many visits they make to California and other places uh, around the country to, to tell the people about our store. Uh, and it's a competition. Whether we like it or not, whether you agree with how competition works, uh, whether you agree or disagree with uh, incentives, that's all part of it. And there are other communities wanting companies just like these. And we're in this competition. Uh, we could not have a better EDC staff working for us and cooperating with all the other facets of, of government that we have here and, and community. So I just wanted to take a moment to thank them for all they do and, and recognize their hard work. Now I think we have to go work and shovel dirt over here. Yeah. That's the next step. In so. the sun? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Texas. <laughs> Thank y'all. Okay, one, two, three. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Don't we have to move this pile? Yeah, let's just get while we're here with the car. So when are you hoping to be open and productive? Well, first we're hoping to get the building permit. So as soon as we get the permit, we should be operational within about seven months, weather permitting. Okay. So. And once you start producing, uh, where is this going to be available? Well, currently there is no frozen food, or no pit store in Sulphur Springs offering frozen food, but we are hoping to get a store here as soon as possible, and as soon as my perfect pet is operational, we'll be distributing out of Sulphur Springs. So I'm working on getting food into Sulphur Springs as soon as possible. Right now, the EDC is stocked, so if anybody wants to pick up food from the EDC, I do have a freezer there. That's where I'm setting up my home office, so temporarily distributing out of EDC and Sulphur Springs. Thank you. <laughs> that hasn't changed. Good. 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 Thank you. Thank you all.